Hello, Facebook and YouTube. And Facebook, I know you're upside down right now. So hold on a second. So sorry about you YouTubers out there who are going to see this choppy little piece of video. But I took both my cameras. Oops. And uh oh, now I'm going to have to readjust a little bit here. Give me a second. All right, so hopefully that's all going to be good. So like I said, um, this is being streamed live on Facebook right now, and it will be the same video pretty much um, on YouTube a little bit later because I'm doing one recording on my computer, which I'll post to Facebook, and then my live stream right now on Facebook. So what I'm going to do for you guys here is uh, I'm going to do a little repair. Not really a repair, but more of a, tra a trade out for this, uh, for hard drive number three in this computer. Uh, this computer, I don't know why, but it just doesn't like hard drives. It seems to like to rip them apart and make them go bad. Um, so this um, Western Digital is going to be. Oops, if you guys can see it, if you guys can see it. Um, it's Western Digital, 160 gigabytes um, hard drive, um, SATA, SATA connector. Um, the drive that's in this now is a 250 gigabyte. I think it's a Fireball. No, it's. I'm sorry. It is. It's a Western Digital as well. Oh, it was a Fireball. The previous one was a Fireball. So the one that was in this before I um, put this one in was a um, Seagate Fireball um, half terabyte, which I did another video with the disassembly of that because um, the discs that had the disc had actually uh, sustained physical damage. So it was pretty much unusable. Um, this one, it's not it's not imminent on crashing, but it's giving me a warning that it's gonna about to crash. So I'm just gonna take it out and change it out for the 160 gigabytes hard drive. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So Lenovo's one of the reasons I like Lenovo's. Like Dell, they're very easy to fix. They're very easy to work on because everything just folds right out and it's very accessible. So, to take this hard drive out, I'm going to have to, these two little blue tabs right here, probably can't see them, but there's two little tabs. Push them forward, and this lifts right out. And just disconnect the data and the power. I didn't pull the connector on the motherboard out again. Because you know, that connector on the motherboard is not too good. So this thing just basically it just pops right out of the the caddy here. I mean that's how easy it is. You put your new hard drive in. Pop that in. Oops, make sure it's down. And away. Make sure it's properly snapped in. You'll hear it snap in and it won't look warped. Now, just put the connectors back on. It will go back on. Oh, there we go. Again, like I said, make sure I don't pull the connector out of there. 
I did that one time when I was switching out the other hard drive. I had it pulled out and I was wondering why it wasn't registering the hard drive. I went back in here and looked and yeah, lo and behold it was pulled out. A very odd way of putting these on. And then this oops. Just clips on like that and bang. That's it. Now I'll load up the hard um the hardware. The um software which will probably be uh, Ubuntu fifteen point oh four because uh, this disc has fourteen oh four and it worked pretty good. Um but I wanted to try fifteen oh four just to see how if it'll work work in this system. Um so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So, um, <clears throat> YouTube guys, you don't want to hear me just ranting and raving because I'm probably going to be just sitting here talking for the rest of the time. So, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. If you like it, if you don't, as always, leave a comment, guys. And thank you very much for your time. Oops. And this thing's not going to cooperate now. Here we go. Peace, guys.